in this tutorial, I'm going to go through something called multiple edits. So I'm going to go to file and open. I've already started an InDesign file. Chapter 4, folder 18. And I have my favorite painter again, Earl Norum. So I'm going to open up this file and we've got nine of his paintings here. I want this grid to be a little smaller so I have room to separate them. I'm almost, already almost all right on the edge of the page. So I'm going to select them all. And if I simply click and drag the corner like this, well, I'm going to crop my images. I can only see the left edge of each image. And that looks kind of stupid. So I'll go to edit and undo. If I want to resize the whole grid, boxes and content, remember you have to hold command and shift, press and hold, and now I can click and drag right there. Multiple edits at the same time. I'll let go of the mouse first, then I'll let go of the keyboard and I'll just kind of push these over here. Now when I press and hold, I'm going to hold space bar and shift and adjust the amount of space between all of these. But I want all of these to have rounded upper left corners and rounded lower right corners. But I don't get the corner widget. Okay, You can only work on one box at a time. See if I click here, I get a corner widget. But I don't want to have to do it again and again and again nine times. So if I want to edit all of these, I'll select them all, hit W to get out of the uh, outline mode so I can look at it in preview. And now when I want to multiple, multiply edit all of the corners, I go to Object, Corner Options. Okay, I'm going to keep the preview on. This upper left dot, and I know the icons are really small, but that's just how InDesign was uh, designed. This is the upper left corner. This is the lower left corner. This is the upper right corner of each box. This is the lower right corner. So if this is linked, all the values will be the same, and I don't want that. So I'm going to break that link. I'm going to set the upper left corner styles to rounded. Now I'll hit the up arrow. You can see all the upper right corner or upper left corners get rounded off. Don't worry about it cutting off the type. Now I'll go down to the lower right corners, round those off, and I'll hit the up arrow till these two values kind of match 0.6875. And I'll click OK. So there are multiple edits right there in Adobe InDesign. If I decide now, because I've rounded off some of these corners as a little bit too much empty space, select it all, press and hold for a second. Now I can hold the space bar, but if I want to keep the spacing kind of consistent, space bar and shift key, I just kind of tighten up my grid a little bit right there. Okay, there are multiple edits right here in Adobe InDesign.